Shimagoli market, that's not the most interesting yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just beside the fish market is the vegetable market. And here is a good way to soak up a lot of the atmosphere. And you can see all the people getting the vegetables together, slowly working things. And also there's a lot of pulses. They've also got a lot going on here, the cellars. So it's a fascinating place just to come for the day and really soak up some of the atmosphere. So many different types of vegetables here, from uh, jackfruit, you've got also all the fresh ginger that they have here. Some of the best parts of Sri Lankan food is its vegetable curries. And here in the market you can really see how those vegetable curries have come together because you can see the quality of the fresh produce. And there's some amazing pumpkins and there's this amazing green beans and some vegetables I haven't seen before either. So it's well worth coming to the markets as well as the fish markets, it's just across the road. So I'm at Frederick Fort, which is actually very, very well known as uh, one of the oldest forts actually in Sri Lanka. And also, it was originally um, built by the Portuguese and was then taken over by the Dutch and then again by the British and now it's all been knocked down and it's a uh, temple that is one of the biggest and main temples in the region here. It's absolutely stunning, it's right on the peninsula, right on the very edge and looks over the whole of Trumacoli. So it's really well worth coming here and uh, giving a bit of a visit and seeing this amazing temple. So this rock, this peninsula, is a big thing in Trimacoli. So you must visit it while you're here. 